Every cybersecurity analyst needs to be able to analyze phishing emails. And in this video, I'll show you the key techniques to spotting and analyzing phishing emails. And at the end, I will tell you about a tool that will allow you to tell employers that you've got hands-on experience with email filtering. Hey, I'm AJ. I've been in cybersecurity for the last eight years. And on this channel, we teach cybersecurity to beginners. So let's get into it. So first up, I'm going to show you where you can actually get example phishing emails to be able to actually analyze them. So you can go into something called phishing pot on GitHub. And as you can see, it's this one here. As you click into this, you click on email and it's going to have a list. So these are all example phishing emails that have been reported and have been sent to phishing pot. And you can come in here, simply just download a couple of these emails. So you can go in and download these. So I recommend just downloading a few. I'm doing this in my Kali Linux virtual machine. So please do use a virtual machine for this because these are live phishing emails and you don't want to go accidentally clicking on the links or the attachments in your own personal machine. So now you should have some example emails in your downloads folder and we're ready now to actually analyze some of these emails. So as a cybersecurity analyst, you're likely going to get emails which are going to be reported to you by employees and it's going to be your job to analyze that email and understand if it's malicious or not. So some of the best ways are that you can just simply open the email. So I'm here using Thunderbird just to open these email examples. This one doesn't have too much content in it. it does look like it's trying to impersonate Coinbase or their support team, which does look suspicious. But again, there's no links or anything in here that are really standing out for us. Um, this one here. So this one looks to be a Microsoft um, account phishing email. So it's saying that someone in Bogota, Colombia attempted to log into my account several times. If you believe this fraudulent, please report this um, here. Um, so Microsoft account alert. This does look very suspicious. It's coming from 365 at company.com. Um, it's quite generic. They have put a name in there to try to make it a bit more tailored. But again, this is quite generic, which is standing out. So there is a link here then, and it actually directs to this page here. And this does look like genuine Outlook page. But as we can see here, the URL definitely stands out for us as not being anything related to Microsoft. So we can actually do a bit more analysis on the URL. So you can go into a tool like Semantic Site Review, as you can see here, paste the URL in just to check the category. And this looks like it's already been categorized as suspicious by Semantic. So that will further indicate to us that there is something unusual here. But this definitely stands out because this is definitely not Outlook. So in this case, you'd be deleting it from the employee's email box and checking if any other employees had received this email and then making sure that nobody had clicked it. If they had clicked it, then you would want to go ahead and be resetting their passwords um, just to be sure. But you would also want to double check to see if they had entered their credentials as well. But usually as precaution, you want to be resetting their passwords anyway. There's also another great tool called URL scan. So if we copy this into URL scan, you can do further URL analysis on this as well. So we can do a scan on this. So again, these sites are just sandboxes and they just allow you just to do some more analysis on the email to try and determine if it's malicious. But as you go through this and as you start to analyze more phishing emails, you will start to see that a lot of these will stand out. So it looks like this URL is no longer available and it likely has been taken down because it's been categorized as phishing. So another thing you can do as a cybersecurity analyst is also analyze the email headers. And a way to do that is to open it with a text editor. So you open the email file in some kind of text editor. And as you can see here, these are the email headers for the specific email. And the email headers are the hidden parts of an email that show the email from its journey from the sender to the recipient. And it can provide crucial data uh, when you're doing forensics to try and find the true source of where that email came from. And one section you can actually look at is here you've got the return path. Because phishing emails will always try to look like they're coming from a trusted sender. But you can look at the return path and see where the act source of the email came from. So we're a mismatch in the return path and the actual from address. So I can show you here is usually an indicator that the email can be suspicious. So you can see in here, we've got the return path is this, but the sender address is actually support at mail.coinbase.com. So they're trying to spoof um, this support at 
Coinbase um, from address so that you think that it is actually from Coinbase. But as you can see, the return path is actually this address here. So another location you can look in the email headers is actually for the SPF record. So if this is showing up as SPF equals failed, then this could indicate further that this is a phishing email. In this case, it's actually equal to none. This could raise some suspicion because most legitimate domains will have this set up correctly. But this on its own isn't an indicator that this is a phishing email. The SPF record is one place that you can look for the indication of an SPF failure that could indicate that it is. So from here as well, we can actually grab the sender IP. So the IP address is actually this here. So this can give us an idea of where this email was actually sent from. So we can use something like abuse IPDP just to do some analysis on this uh, IP address. And we can see it's actually being sent from Microsoft. It looks like a Microsoft server in Singapore. So likely they could be using Outlook to send this phishing email. So this doesn't really help us figure out exactly where they are. An IP address analysis can be difficult because it doesn't always indicate their exact location. It usually is the IP of the, the ISP or the internet service provider of where that is IP is actually located. But it can still be good for analysis as a cybersecurity analyst. Now that you have a better understanding of how to actually analyze phishing emails, what I'm going to show you now is how to get hands-on experience with an email filtering tool. We actually came across this tool by Bitdefender and they've got an ultimate small business security tool. I'm not sponsored by Bitdefender at all. I just found this tool and I thought it would be a great experience for beginners to get familiar with email protection and email filtering. So as I looked into it, I could see that this uh, Bitdefender Ultimate Small Business does some kind of email protection. So I had, did have a look into it. I contacted Bitdefender and they said that the email protection uses email filtering to detect spam, malicious emails and phishing attempts. And it actively monitors the mailbox by scanning incoming emails. So as I looked into this, I thought that this would be great experience for a beginner to get easy hands-on experience with an email filtering tool that they could put on their resume or their CV. Because if I was looking to hire people and when I'm doing interviews for cybersecurity analysts, if they said, oh, I've got experience with an email filtering tool, I know how to actually analyze emails and I know how an email filtering tool works, then they would definitely stand out for me. So because of that, I'm going to show you how to actually set this up. Unfortunately, the email protection doesn't come in their free trial. So you will have to sign up to their monthly subscription, but you can cancel it after one month. I think for $14.99 is definitely worth it to get this project on your resume or your CV, but that is totally up to you. I'm going to show you how to set it up now. So just follow the prompts to sign up. It'll ask you to enter your credit card information and your email address. Once you do that, it'll send you an email with a code where you can download Bitdefender. And I've done that here on my Windows Virtual Machine. And once you've downloaded Bitdefender, you'll be able to open it here. And then you'll be able to go to protection. And as you can see here, you've got email protection. So you can see it scans and identifies potentially dangerous email content via email. So you can open this and you can get started and you can choose. So I'm going to set it up with a Google account and I'm going to sign in with Google. So make sure you do that. So then follow the prompts to sign into your Google account. And then you'll see this. It says you have successfully signed in. Email protection is now protecting your email account. You can close this browser. And as you can see here, your email is now protected. And then you'll see in your email protection Bitdefender that it's got the email account. And then it'll show that it is actively scanning that account for any malicious emails. And if it does find anything in here, it will categorize them here. So now what we'll do, we'll test out to see what it looks like in the mailbox. So as we can see here, Bitdefender actually categorizes the emails based on uh, what it thinks once its scan has been completed. So I've sent this anonymous email to myself. And it's actually the phishing email template that I had from my Kali Linux virtual machine. You can see that it's categorized it as dangerous. So this is a great thing for us and especially employees to be able to see, to be able to try and avoid this email. And then what we would recommend is that they would report this email to us. And then we as cybersecurity analysts would analyze that using some of the tips that I've already shown you in this video. Now, this is a very simple project, but you can easily write down that you've got experience with an email filtering tool just from this. So to conclude, you now understand where to get example phishing emails from. You understand how to analyze these phishing emails while analyzing the URLs and also the email headers. And you can set up your own home lab email filtering tool with Bitdefender. So now you can do an analysis and detection of phishing emails. Ultimately, 
Similarly, you can now write down this project on your resume and your CV to say that you've got experience with an email filtering tool. You understand that the employees would report these emails to the cybersecurity team. And you also understand how to actually analyze phishing emails to be able to protect the company and its employees. Now, if this has piqued your interest for getting into cybersecurity, go and watch this video next where I teach you how to learn cybersecurity for beginners. Thank you for watching and I'll see you over there.